let's see this problem. In the figure, AEDC is a parallelogram. AB is to BC is 1 is to 2. AF is to FE 2 is to 1. Then the area of triangle ABF is to area of triangle BCD. Okay. Uh, AB is to BC, 1 is to 2. So I assume AB to be X, then BC will be 2X. AF is to FE is 2 is to 1. So I assume this to be 2Y, so it will be Y. Right? Now the total length of AE is 3Y, so CD will also be having the same length as 3Y. Okay? Now we have to find out the area ratio of area of triangle AFB and triangle BCD. Right? This triangle and this triangle. Now, just observe one thing, that is this angle and this angle. Sum of these two angles is 180 degree, right? Because uh, these are adjacent angle of parallelogram. So, sum of adjacent angles is always 180 degree. That you must be knowing, right? This plus this will also be 180. This plus this also be 180. This plus this also be 180, right? So, we will be using the same property. This is theta, then it will be 180 minus theta okay now you must be knowing uh, the sign formula for finding out the area of any triangle right suppose this is a triangle then uh, if we have this as a p q r if it is angle theta then the area of this triangle will be half p q into p r into sin theta that is the area of the triangle okay so precisely what is happening uh, we just have to take the included angle if we are taking the sides pq and pr then we have to take the included angle that is theta over here right so the area of this triangle is half pq into pr sin theta right so the same funda i'll be using over here to find out the area of this triangle and this triangle right now let's see area of triangle a f b that will be half sin theta into this into this that is 2y into x or x into 2y okay that is area of triangle AFB divided by area of triangle BCD that we have to find out so that is half here the included angle is 180 minus theta so it is sin 180 minus theta into uh, the sides 3y and 2x 3y into 2x okay half and half is cancelled x and x is cancelled y and y is cancelled 2 and 2 is cancelled now the only thing you must be knowing over here is sine 180 minus theta is equal to sine theta only okay so this much trigonometry knowledge you must be having right this is 0, 90 and this is 180. So in the second quadrant, this is all sugar, tea, coffee. In the second quadrant, sine theta is positive and sine 180 minus theta will be positive sine theta. So this is sine theta, this is sine theta, it is cancelled. So we are left with just 1 by 3. Okay, so if you know the sine formula, then this problem can be done very easily uh, in seconds. The only paperwork is required is this much. Because you don't have to draw this circle, you don't have to draw this triangle. It, this is just for your conceptual clarity. If you are not, uh, if you don't know sine formula, then I just mention it over here, how to find out the area of a triangle using a uh, sine formula. Okay, so that's very easy. Just note this down. And yes, apart from sine formula, even cosine formula is very useful. So if you have the basic knowledge of sine formula, cosine formula, and very basic knowledge of uh, uh, this uh, trigonometry, then the problems from even geometry section, the problems from similar triangles can be done very easily. Okay?